So it's always a question, what type of analysis we can do when we have some tweets data? One answer is sentiment analysis. We can use machine learning to see whether the emotion of a tweet is positive, neutral, or negative. But this is quite a challenging task. You see, tweets are actually different than other type of text data that we have because A, they're normal in conversational language, and B, they're short. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mehran and I'm a PhD student in Applied Math here in the Netherlands. Today I want to show you how to use a recent machine learning model called Roberta for tweet sentiment analysis. This model is developed by the Facebook AI team. It's pre-trained on 58 million tweets and it's proven to be quite accurate for tweet sentiment analysis. So in this video, I'll show you how to download this model by just few lines of code and then how to use it for the analysis. So let's get to it. So this is the model's webpage on Hugging Face website. We will write some Python code to download the model from this website and then use this model to see whether the tweet's emotion is negative, neutral, or positive. I put the link to this webpage down in the description in case you want to check out the website. Now we go to our compiler. I open a new terminal to install the packages that we want. So over here first I write pip install transformers. We use this package to download the model from the Hugging Face website. And then I write pip install scipy that we're going to use it to convert the output of the model into probability scores. Now we have the packages. I create a new Python file, call it Twitter sentiment.py so we can start writing our codes. So I write from transformers import auto tokenizer also auto model for sequence classification then I write from sci-fi dot special import softmax. So now let's consider a tweet for our sentiment analysis. Now when we are talking about the text data of a tweet, we can consider it into four categories. One is the text regarding the tweet itself. Then there is emoji. Then there is normally mentions of a user. And there could be also some link to some website inside the tweet. So I write a tweet that has all of these components. So first let's write a mention and then the tweet, for example, today is called at home. And then I write also an emoji, for example, a sad emoji. And then some link, for example, the link to my website. So now we have the tweet and we'll use the Roberta model to see what's the emotion of this tweet. Now in order to do the analysis, we should, con we should do some pre-processing on the text to make it appropriate for the way the model is trained. So the way this model is trained is uh, instead of mention of anybody, they just use at sign user and instead of any hyperlink, which is any URL to any website, we should just write HTTP. So that's what we're supposed to do. So I write pre-process tweet, then I write tweet underline words as an empty list for word in tweet.split and then we split the tweet text based on spaces. Then I say if word starts with at sign, so that means it's a mention to somebody, but we see for example over here, we just have some at sign that is not a mention, so we should also somehow exclude this one. So we see if the word starts with tweet and its length is greater than one, and then we convert it to a string at user. Then similarly, we say else if word starts with this time http so now this time we are selecting the url link we convert it into a string which is http then what we're supposed to do we are supposed to add this to our tweet words list so we append it to our tweet word list now if i just print 
to it words, we see it's a list that has all the elements over there. Oh, so I got some error. I think I have some sort of type over here. Auto tokenizer. Okay. Now again, I'll run the code. Okay, this time it works. Now we see we have a list of the tweets. Now we should just join all of these elements together. So we can do this by writing tweet processed equal to space string and then join our tweet words list. Now if I just print this one. Yes. So now the text is converted. We got rid of the mention and also the link. Now the next step, we should download the model. So we load the model and tokenizer. So now I write the name of the model, Roberta, I call it. And then I go to the Hugging Face website. I copy from here the name of the model. So I paste it here. Then I can now download the model from the website. So I write model. Then I use auto model for sequence classification dot from pre-trained and pass over here the name of the model, Roberta. We should also load a tokenizer so we can convert our tweet text into appropriate numbers. So we can then pass the numbers into the model. So I write tokenizer, auto tokenizer from pre-trained and again pass over here the name of the model. Now I also write the labels of the output of this model. So I make a list called labels. And then from the website, we see the labels are negative, neutral, and positive. So I write them here. Negative, neutral, and positive. So now we can write our code for tweet sentiment analysis. First, I convert this process tweet into PyTorch tensors, and then we can pass that into the model. So I write encoded tweet equal to tokenizer. Pass over here the tweet processed. And then return tensor is equal to PT. So let's just print this encoded tweet see what we get so we got some error oh, over here it should be return tensors not tensor now again we run the code so you see the encoded tweet is actually a dictionary we have input IDs and attention mask and then the input IDs is actually the tensor that is obtained from converting the tweet into numbers just have in mind that when you are running the code for the first time, it might take a bit longer because you need to download the model from the website. But then after that, you wouldn't have the problem because you already have the model. So now we should just pass this encoded tweet to the model to do this sentiment analysis. Okay, so I remove this line. So one way to do this, I just write output model and then pass over here encoded tweet then I write the keys of this encoded tweet. So over here we have input IDs. I put it over here. And then again encoded tweet. Again pass over here attention mask. So that's a way of writing it. And then if I just write print output, you see that it does this sentiment analysis. So here is the output of our analysis. We have a tensor over here and we will convert this into probability to see exactly what's the sentiment of the tweet. But instead of passing the encoded tweet to the model, we can actually do something much simpler. I can just copy this part and then I comment this. Instead, we can use these double asterisks. 
which is doing exactly the same thing that we do. So this way we unpack this encoded to its dictionary and then pass it to the model. Now we have the output of the model. We can convert it into probabilities using softmax and see what's the sentiment of the tweet. So what I'll do first is to select this inner list over here. To do this, I write scores equal to output zero zero and then I write detach to just select the list and then I just compare it into a numpy array. Now if we just print these scores, we see we have uh, selected the list that we want. And here we got it. So now the next step, I will pass these scores into the softmax function. So I write softmax scores and convert it into probabilities. If we again pass it, we will get only numbers between 0 and 1. So now we just need to print the output with the corresponding labels. For this, I just write 4i in the range of the length of scores. L equal to labels the height element. And the score by S is the scores height element. And then I just print the label and the score. Now we run this code. And we see the scores and the labels of the output. So we see that the label of this tweet is negative because it has the higher score. And that's again as expected. If we go back to the Python code and change the tweet, for example, to a positive tweet. So for example, I write tweet equal to great content subscribe and run the code again this time we expect it to be positive and we see the output is positive as expected because it has the highest score among the others so that's how easily we can do sentiment analysis on tweets using the Roberta model. Well, in this video, I assume you already have some tweets that you want to do the analysis on. In case you don't, you can watch this playlist that I made and learn how to get the tweets from the Twitter API. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you later.